Hey, hey, what's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports. I want to talk to you about something today. It's a little disturbing. So, all of y'all know I'm a pretty big fan of um, Triple G. I like his fighting style. I like his demeanor. I like the way he carries himself. But there's one thing that's really starting to disturb me and kind of get on my nerves. So, we all know that Canelo failed his uh, drug test, caught with some kind of substance, and he's sticking to the claim that it's tainted meat from Mexico, blase blase, right? Triple G talked about this on every interview earlier this year, over and over and over. All right, so Canelo was suspended for um, six months. No matter how much he tried to prove to them it was tanning meat, he was suspended for six months. On top of that, Canelo has enrolled in year-round VADA testing to let you know that, hey, I'm clean. I won't make that mistake of eating tainted meat no more. I mean, it's, it's done and over with. So Triple G, of course, getting closer to the fight September. They're interviewing him again. And they're constantly talking about he's dirty, he's a cheat, he's this and that, and he's one of the dirtiest fighters and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, at what point are we going to let this go, Triple G? Like, how many times can you say the same thing over and over and over and over again? And the reason why I say this is because you and your team are the one that accepted the rematch. Y'all accepted. Y'all are the one that accepted that he's doing year-round VADA testing to make sure that there's nothing in his in his system. So if you are that concerned and really harking about him being the most dirtiest fighter you've ever been in and all that, then why accept the rematch? Why accept that he's doing year-round VADA testing? I mean, it's like a broken record now. It's like now when you go to do your interviews and they ask you, do you think he's on something? Listen, we got Vada in place. That's all that matters. Nothing comes up. I'm satisfied. What happened in the past is in the past. And here's the thing that you got to bring up also. Y'all first fight, I think it was what, September 17th, 2017. Both of y'all passed Vada testing. Y'all pat both of you. Canelo passed, you pass. He passed the test. They confirmed that there was nothing in his system the very first fight. If you don't believe that, then you wouldn't your both y'all wouldn't be enrolled in Vada testing now. So you had to believe it the first fight, so you've got to believe it the second fight. So I'm just saying that to say in this. When we're six weeks away, however many weeks away, when First of all, reporters should just stop asking about the meat contamination and being busted. He served his time. Y'all have done the rematch. He's enrolled in VADA testing. Can we move on from that now? It's a broken record now. I'm tired of hearing about he's the dirtiest fighter, blah, blah, blah. This and that. It's, it's over. It's over now. Let's talk about something. Let's talk about how you're going to knock him out. Let's talk about how you're going to beat him. Let's talk about how y'all got a great game plan. Let's talk about that. When reporters start asking about that, just shut them down. Say, so listen, that's in the past. Let's talk about this rematch. Do y'all think I'm wrong? Y'all leave your thoughts, comments below, and let me know what you think. This is Sean with Boxing Social and Other Sports. We signing out.